congratulations, your offer was accepted. You are now under contract to buy a house. So here's what's going to happen next. Step one, we need to deliver your deposit to the seller side. From there, you need to schedule your home inspections within the days set forth in the contract, as well as perform your due diligence on the property within those days set forth in the contract. Next, you'll start working on your financing with a lender. You have a certain amount of days to apply with the lender, which I'm sure you've already started, but from there, you're gonna get them all of the appropriate documents that they're requesting. The lender will then order an appraisal. The appraisal is done by a third party company. They go out and confirm that the property is going to be worth what they're lending you. The next step is your loan commitment. Once the appraisal has come in and you've done all of your paperwork homework for the lender, they will issue a loan commitment that we will get to the seller. Now this has to be done by the date that is on page four of the contract. It is your final contingency. From there, we go schedule the final walkthrough. We walk through the property, make sure that you're buying what you've agreed to buy. There's no new holes in the walls and all the appliances that we agreed would be left behind are in fact left behind. And nothing that wasn't agreed to be left behind is still in the property. Correct. And from there, we head to closing and you purchase your property. You bring the check in the amount that the lender tells you to. Sometimes the seller's present, sometimes the seller's not present. And at the end of closing, you get the keys to your new house and you can start moving in. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, like it. We would really appreciate it.